All right, Lou, we got this. Start recording the first try. So for quite a while now, I've been able to catch some giants, but the uh, giant smallie has eluded me for years now. Uh, I've caught some 18s, but that's about it. So I'm gonna be trying some new baits for the remainder of the year and try to catch a giant. So as you can probably tell, the GoPro once again robbed me of my second camera view, just completely ruined any chance of having a clickbait thumbnail with a little bit of a long arm on my giant smallie is just gone, nothing. But price is always a problem. I don't want to spend a dollar a bait. So finding a cheap bait is important to me. So on Amazon, I found the cheapest Helger mites I could find from Floofy Noofy Tackle. These have been in my bag for a little bit. Got a couple different colors. Probably gonna start off with the black and just see if somehow this will lead me into a bigger fish of any kind. And it's just a test of new bait too. First thing I like to do when I got a new bait, give it a little snip. These definitely have an Italian village smell. Tons of garlic. They look pretty good, they're pretty long. They got a ton of legs though. I don't think a helicopter might has that many legs, but I don't think the fish are gonna care. Also, every once in a while, I say some really stupid things that get me to think when I go back and watch the video about, did I just lie? Did I just make something up? Maybe I should look into this. And this is one of them with the legs on the Helgramite. So I Googled, how many legs does a Helgramite have? And I found out something I didn't know. It actually only has six legs, but it also has 68 pairs of filaments that act as gills for underwater breathing. That is wild. But anyways, back to the video. I'm gonna throw this on a weedless Ned because I feel like if I hook a giant, it'd be much better off with an EWG hook. And uh, we're gonna go to the side of this guy. All right, so if we get a bite, we're gonna let him take it for a minute. We're going to set the hook very hard. <laughs> there was a bite. Missed it. See, I got too excited. I got too damn excited and I pulled it out of his mouth. I got to let him take it for a minute because we have an EWG. This is why I run my normal regular jig heads because something like that, I probably would have caught it. Had another bite missed it. So this is why this is why I don't run an EWG. I'm getting bites and I'm losing these fish. Is it a small fish? Are they not eating the whole thing? Is the bait too long? There was a bite. You're getting bites. He was running off with it. Had him and come off. This is why I don't run an EWG. Because I lose a ton of fish. Now here's we're gonna solve this problem a little bit. I'm gonna give that hook an offset. This is why I don't run EWGs. I understand why you do, but I'm just telling you, they cause issues. You need an open hook. It's not in line. And, and I just, now if you catch a giant, then you probably catch them because they're going to inhale the whole thing. There was one. He dropped it. There's one. Oh, dropped it. Dude, I'm, this is why I don't run a f***ing EWG. That's four fish right there in a f***ing row that I did not hook into. And it's going to piss me off. This is why I don't do this. I don't like losing fish there's one hard hook set finally hooked up oh, he seems to be a bigger one that's a nice fish that's a nice fish nice fish that's a nice fish this is a nice fish that maybe this is why you run an ewg because uh this guy he has it he he has it and he's big that, that that may be the biggest smallie this year. Oh my, oh my, oh my God, oh my God, it's Moby Dick. Oh my God, he's big, he's big. Oh my God, I'm getting wet. <laughs> this may be my PB. Oh my God. Oh, it's a 19 and a quarter. It's a, it's a 19 and a quarter. Oh my God. <laughs> well, 
Well, we may have just found our bait for a bigger fish. And he was hooked pretty good. Oh my God. <laughs> That's my PB. 19 and a quarter. Let's get a weight. Let's get a weight. Okay. Okay, we missed some fish, but then we landed a giant. <sighs> oh, I've been waiting for this fish for so long. There it is, new PB. Three and a half pounds. Three and a half pounds. Let's get him a little bit of water. Then I got to get a picture. Oh, he's not 19 and a quarter no more. He's a 19. <laughs> new PB on a new bait. Missed a couple bites, but man, if I land these guys and that's what they get me, it's worth it. It's worth losing them. Oh my God, it's giant. <laughs> oh yes. All right. All right, bud. All right, thank you very much. Very worth the trip down here. Very worth the trip. Oh, good old 19 PB. Yes. You good, bud? You good? There he goes. There he goes. <laughs> yes. Yes. It happened. It happened. Okay. We learned something. If I would have threw my little swim bait in there, would I have hooked that giant? I don't know. Should I throw that or should I keep throwing the Helger mite? I see a difference here. I don't know what to say. We just got to get back out there and try to catch another one. Bait's a little tore up, but that's okay. Played good for the board and everything. Giant. Try to give it his bite. Missed it. It's probably a small one. I try to give it some time. You know, you get a bite with these EWGs, let them eat it for a minute. Let them make sure they have it in their mouth, you know what I mean? You know, feel it. Feel them running around with it to see if they have it still. And if they have it still, it's usually in their mouth then. There's a bite, lost it. Not a snag. Run off with it. Got him. There we go. <laughs> Nowhere near as big as the last one, but I'll take it. He ran off with it. All right. Well, here's another thing that I don't like about EWG. So okay, it's basically in the eye. Let's see if we can get him out. I'll have to need the pliers for this one. <clears throat> there are positives and negatives to this EWG. And for this reason right here, <sighs> I don't, I, I'm not a big fan of them. Got him. Not as big as the last one, but he wanted the Helger mite. See you, bud. That right there, we got to get a new Helgi. Stick with this black. Again, would I have caught that guy on my swim bait? We'll never know. But what I do know, whether it's the Helgermite or the EWG, they are liking what I'm doing, so I'm going to keep doing it for today. Is it the garlic? There's not a lot. Doesn't feel quite as big. Oh, just get in here, bud. Yeah. <laughs> yes. That's another nice one. They are loving this Helgermite regardless. Fish here yesterday caught a good bit on the swim bait, but they are tearing this Helgermite up. See you, bud. Wrong way, dude. Wrong way. There you go. Let's try. Let's, you know what? Let's let this run down the current a little bit. See what happens. Had a bite. He dropped it. He bit it and dropped it. All right, let's just work our way down the bank. It's swimming off with it. Got him. It's another decent one. 
Another decent one. Come in, bud. Come in. Yes. <laughs> That's another good one. Another good one. All right. There we go. Yeah, bud. What is he, a 15, 16? 15 and a half ish. 15, yeah, 15 and a half. Nice. Nice. They are loving this Helgramite. Oh, there you go, bud. Wrong way again. Wrong way. There you go. See how many more we can catch. I don't think the Helgramite is going to last forever. Lou, you're putting in work for me. Thank you very much. <laughs> we finally beat the three pound mark on a smallie. Took me years. Literally just got done saying how a giant smallie has eluded me. And then boom, 19. I'm sold. I will use me some noofy, floofy, floof. I will use me some floofy noofy Helgies from now on. They're really not that expensive either, to be honest. I'm just gonna fish it slow. He had it. Never felt him pick it up, but he had it. Oh, my reel just reversed itself, and he came off. What the? F oh my God! Why did my reel reverse itself? Lou, what are you doing? Gave you a shot. I don't know. Maybe I hit it. It literally reversed itself, and then. Oh. Let's try this again. I'm happy. I succeeded. I can calm down now. I spent the last three of my years of my life trying to start a YouTube channel based around catching big smallies. And I finally, finally have an actual big smallie. Now, 18s are no joke. Don't get me wrong. That's a really good fish, especially for a New York. But the 19s and 20s, they don't come around too often. That is a serious fish. Lou, I'm going to give you another shot. Don't, don't do that again. You're beautiful and all, but if you start going reverse on me like that, out of nowhere, you're getting fired. Hit it and dropped it. Hit it and dropped it. It's weird to see it. They're hitting it and dropping it sometimes with this. Unless one bait, that never happens. I, I never, I grit, well, rarely. Rarely ever do I have a smallie hit that swim bait and drop it. I mean, I understand they're probably small ones doing this, but still, it's just, it's odd to me to have them hit it and drop it. It does seem to be possibly the Helger might, like it, it is a bigger fish kind of bait because you can feel the little ones hitting it and dropping it like they're afraid of it. Ah. Oh, that's another nice one. Too light a drag, what am I doing? Too light a drag. I think that's another big one. That's another nice one. He's not giant, but <laughs> that, dude, that's another pig. That's another pig. Come here, bud. Come here, bud. Okay, hold on. all right, stop, stop. We got him. That's an, that might be another, that's 17 maybe? Let's go check, let's go check. Let's go check. <sighs> let's see what he is. Let's see what he is. Oh, no. Now you're all sandy. Stop. 16 and a half. All right, all right, all right, all right. Let's get you back. Let's get you rinsed off for a little bit. Fat, 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 small mouth. On the over mic. Oh. They're all chunks. This Saturday, making that trip up to there. Oh, hold on, I got one. Oh, he came off. I, I had one, he came off. I set the hook so hard and it still came off. Makes you wonder, was I looking over per se, bigger fish, throwing my swim bait? I don't know. Let's go along the bank. Actually, I wanna get this Helger mite underneath that tree. I didn't even know he had it. I didn't even know he had it. Oh my God. No idea he had that. 
He had that in his mouth for a while then. Got him. Dark one, smaller one. It's okay. Oh, I can't believe he got that in his mouth. <laughs> See you, bud. Pilgrimite. All right, let's move down a little bit. I think it's a little bit too much current. But I could be wrong. We can get out to this rock. He's not that small either. He's not that small. We got him. I can't do nothing with him. Get in here. Get in here. That's another nice one. That's another nice one. Get out of those woods. Oh my God. I'm boat flipping like an 18. Oh my God. We'll go up and put him on the board. Barely had him. We'll go put him on the board. <laughs> Little thinner guy. 17 and a quarter. 17 and a quarter. There you go, bud. Nice and long guy. See ya. Hell, you guys might have even seen a little bit of that. Lou's putting in that work. Atta boy. Another one. Another one. Another one. He's not quite as big. I will take him though. Yes. Little guy, he's pissed off though. Thanks for playing. I mean, put him back. How many places can I hook this Helgramite before it falls off? That's a fish. That's a fish. That's a fish. It don't look that bad either. Oh, that's another nice one. Oh my God. That's another nice one. <laughs> oh yes. There you go. Thank you for playing. And splashing the shit out of me. We'll see if we can get down behind this rock. Water's still cold. I ain't got no waders, but uh, I know there's a good spot behind that rock down there. We have to walk through the bamboo, we'll walk through the bamboo. We're gonna walk through some water, we'll walk through some water. Ooh, she might be deeper than I thought. She's deep, but I think I can make it. I made it. We might be coming up the bank on our way back. That tree's about ready to fall over. That's poison. Okay. <sighs> Legs are very cold bro oh my god what am i doing jagger bushes step on the jaggers to get over the jaggers get this behind that rock there's one. Oh, this feels like a good one He's not, oh, he's fighting so hard, get in here. Yes, okay, he's not giant, but oh, the current, he was ripping drag, dude. Little guy. It's a little eddy right here, not much, but there is one. Again, not a giant, but it's a smallie. A little bud. See ya. See a log and I see some slower moving water. There's one. He's not huge, but he's nice. I love fishing. Oh my God, chill out, bro. I know you're in the water a second ago. You'll go back. A little guy. These little guys down here, they're getting it. I gotta crawl under. <sighs> Knock it down. Hands and knees crawling. I feel like I'm an eerie with these waves. Okay, this is looking nice. This is looking real nice. There's one. He's not bad. Came off. 
<sighs> Fighting them too hard, I think. Move on down to the east side. Ooh. Maybe we ain't moving down. That is definitely poison. I don't think I can make that jump, to be honest. I don't think I should make that jump. Oh, oh. I'm about to make that jump regardless. <clears throat> oh, okay. Oh, this looks good, though. Oh, I think it's a nice one. He's not bad. Come on, Lou. Get him in. He's not that big. That's just a lot of current. They're getting smaller as I go down. Do I want to keep going? Or am I just digging myself a deeper and deeper hole? I don't know what the hell this thing is. Jeez, it's big. See some grass? We gotta try in the grass a little bit. No. There's one. There's one. He's a better one, I think. Oh, he's pulling drag in that current. Oh, get out of there. Get out of there. Get out of there. He's a good one. He's a good one. He's fat. He is fat. Hook came out pretty good. Not a giant. I'd call him probably a 15, but that is awesome. Another one here along the bank. See you, bud. Put him back. Put him back. Moving on down. Oh, that's all poison. Don't touch the legs, please. Don't touch the arms, please. Don't touch my face, please. The shirt's okay. Oh, that's a lot of poison. Oh, that's a lot of poison. Got him. Got him. Got him. Got him. Got him. Oh, he's not that bad. He's not that bad. Get up here. Barely boat football. Got him. That's probably a 15 and a half. Very chunky 15 and a half. Tiny mouth for how big he is. All right, see you later, bud. We gotta keep moving somehow. That's all poison. That's all poison. Oh my God. The only option is to go down in the water. Should I get out of here or should I keep going? I'm not really seeing too much worth doing, to be honest. Could crawl up out of the bank right here. Hey, what we got here? A little old pipe wrench. Yeah, that's cool. All right, we're gonna have to get out of here soon because this, this just ain't working out. Give me that. Oh, this is a nightmare. All right, think we can make it up out of here? Probably not. We're gonna try. Zero ties make a nice place to step on. <laughs> no, it doesn't. Mushrooms, we're looking for mushrooms. We're looking for mushrooms, got lost. So we'll tell everybody. Can't hook a musky with it, but I can hook everything else in the world with it. Sorry, Lou. It's just part of your duty. Ooh. Just part of your duty. Yes. Give me that. 
Give me that. Well, I needed that. Like I said, I've caught a couple 18s. I could never get over that three pound mark. You know, I had a couple on 2.8, 2.9 or so. We finally did it. 19 inch, like a real boarded 19 inch, weighed 3.48 pounds. And I think we are starting to evolve a little bit, trying to step outside of my box, try new baits, try new spots, try new techniques. And I think it's going to knit us some bigger fish this year. Hopefully you enjoyed, thanks for watching. So one last thing to think about though, what it seems like to me, not all the time, but a majority of the time, with this Helgramite, I think the smaller fish may be a little weary of it. You know, it's a big bait, and a real Helgramite has some pretty legit pinchers to defend itself. Some of those bites that we missed, I really believe that they were smaller fish. They're probably not trying to just inhale it and eat it. They're probably trying to kill it, make sure it's dead. And that's why I think it's important too, to feel those bites and feel it swimming off or feel it in its mouth for what I consider an extended period of time. And then really whale on them. I'm running an 18 pound braid and I have eight pound strand, which is, is really more like, you know, it's good for around 12, 13 pounds of actual force. So it's, it's really not eight pounds, it's more like 10 or 12. That's getting a job done, really horsing them fish in. Yeah, it's a great time. If you like this video, hit the like button. If you wanna see more like this video, hit the subscribe button. Thanks for watching.